Hello, welcome to Mix Training, and today we're gonna do our custom Python project manager, chapter three. Right, so this is where we were. Uh, the previous chapter, we have we move everything to external files. And we are using now PostCharm to code our interface. So let me open PostCharm, which is here. And what we're going to do today, it's going to move everything into a class because we don't actually want this to be different interfaces. We want everything to be in a class so we can add different widgets into uh, the layout of this uh, interface. So let's start by creating a class. And again, we are in the project file that we created in the last um, class. So if you haven't seen the previous chapter, go see that. So we're gonna call this uh, project manager. And we're gonna have to give it some properties to this class or some uh, things that we're gonna be inheriting. In this case, it's gonna be uh, Q widgets, uh, Q widget. So it's this class is gonna be an actual widget. So it's basically like a custom widget that we're creating here. A widget with widgets that uh, widget, the widget, 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 widget. All right. So we need to create also uh, a def any uh, function. You can see there's the uh, template. Just press enter to complete. And this is kind of like the constructor of the of this class. So, so let's. Uh, we also need a super because we are inheriting and just select this second one to our to complete. Takes the name of this. Just completes everything you need to do for that super. And then we're gonna have to be adding some stuff here. Now these functions are gonna be members of this class. So let's just select all this and press tab. And that's all we need to put them inside this class. We are uh, just, now we have those functions as a member of this class. Now you can see this class is, it's uh, complaining. Uh, I have something that I need here. So what every class where they are part, part of the, every function where they're uh, part of a class, they need to have this self uh, instance passed to them, which is just pointing to this class. So that's what we need to do. We also need to pass it here and put a comma there. And it's just uh, a way that classes in, in Python work. So here you can see there's another complaint. This doesn't exist here. So when we're referring uh, something inside a class, we need again to put that self, that class, uh, that name of the function uh, attribute there or path because we're saying Oh, in self, in this class, find this function. That's basically what's that's happening there. Saying again, in this function, in this class, actually, find this function, which we already made part of this class. All right. So it's pointing there. You can see if I select this, this highlights as well. All right. So will this work right now? And not really. We can actually, uh, Actually, project will be part of this again. Uh, for now, let's just leave it there. But we can try saving this and see what happens here in Houdini if we uh, run this. Make this smaller. I can't because I have this spreadsheet. There we go. Uh, and this is kind of working, but. I don't think it's really working. Let me see. Uh, file, save, uh, project viewer. That's the correct one. So let's see. Let's see if this is actually working. I think this is lying actually. So what we can do is actually go here to the interface and say print uh, creating interface and see if we reload this should be printed here if it's working so reload and nothing's happening so you can see that is not actually happening if we print here hi and reload now that's working but none of this is working 
But why? Well, because these functions are not, not run automatically right now inside the class. So we need to actually here in the, uh, in the uh, constructor function here, we need to run this function to actually make it work. So again, we need to call this self because it's inside the class uh, create interface like that. When we call this, we don't need to put self here because we are saying in this class, run, from this class, run this function. Whenever this class is created, just do that. So let's see if it works now. And it doesn't. Why is this happening? Well, because let's go to the uh, actual code for this interface. And we're actually trying to run something else here. What we need to do now here, run the actual class here. So instead of create interface, which is part of this class, we need to actually run the class. So well, let's just pro put the project manager. So now that we have the class there, that's what we need to call from this panel. So let's apply. And now look at that. Creating interface is working. So now we are creating, instead of creating the class, instead of calling the, the uh, function directly, we now have a class. So that's what we're calling here. And we're not, we don't need to touch this again now that this is set up because the setup is working now. So let's apply and accept. And here, when we call this class, this class calls the initialization function here, which is basically the constructor and whatever is inside there. So this code, this function, this class starts, calls the initialization, initialization or init. I deleted that, sorry. Then here we have a series of commands and the first one is create the interface. Now it goes here and creates the interface, which is Cool. All right. That works. So now we're going to have to put this project, this project variable, I'm going to make it a member of the class as well. So let's put it, let create my uh, classes, my functions at the, my variables at the very top. And to make it a uh, part of this class, let's make it, let's call it self. So it's say we are able to call it from anywhere else in this class. You can see now here, this is red because it doesn't recognize the project variable because it's looking, since we're not saying look for this in the uh, class, it's looking upside here and it doesn't find it. So this, if I create this here and make it equals to hi, now this variable is different than this. It now it find found that variable here, but it's, it's, tr it's getting this, not this one. So, be careful with that. And since we have this inside the class, we need to put it again in with self, reference to that self, which is the class and then the variable. So let's do that for all the other ones. Self here and self prior here. And that's good. So that's another uh, thing that we, that I like uh, when using uh, PyCharm that it inspects your code and tells you if you have issues like issues like that, it says that uh, even if you don't have something that you haven't used, uh, it just tells you that you didn't use that command or just variable at all. So, all right, this should be working, but I don't think we're going to get something here. Let's create an interface, but this thing, it's actually lying again. So let's uh, actually close this and create a new one. Python, Python panel and try to do the project viewer and you can see it, it's not refreshing. Oh, what's happening? We don't have anything there. Oh, uh, what, what, what? What's happening is that we are trying to return this widget, but that's not uh, actually how we are, uh, how we need to set this up. What we need to do here, uh, we're gonna create a layout for the, for the widget here or for the class, we're going to create a layout. So let's call, let's create a section called a layout, layout and layout is just, just the, how the widgets inside this is going to, are going to be organized. So let's call this main layout 
and this main layout is gonna be of type quick widget uh, let's uh, go for a B bounding box which is box layout which is a vertical layout so each widget is just gonna be one on top of the other stacked vertically like this ba, 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 ba. all right we need uh, parentheses there to declare that that's the layout uh, and then we're not gonna make this be self because this is not gonna be used outside of this class so we don't need to put self uh, before this so that's why I'm not calling this lay uh, just layout so let's uh, create some widgets and I like to create widgets uh, up here before functions before calling functions so let's create widgets and we're creating some widgets down here that we needed before you can see there's the label and the list widget so let's just control X those guys and put them here and these guys uh, am I need to yeah I need to the list widget I'm gonna use it here and this is a label so let's call them self to uh, put them on the class with self so we can call them from outside of here now we have those widgets there and now we need to add these widgets to this layout I know it's a little bit uh, weird but I'm gonna uh, go over it with you one more time when we, when we do this so to the main layout we're gonna add the uh, self that uh, I'm gonna rename this to the label because it's called widget it doesn't actually make it descriptible so let's call it label and we're gonna add another widget and that's gonna be the list widget so now since we created a layout that it's with the vertical uh, distribution or layout it's just gonna add the widgets just like this rows. It's gonna add the label at the top and then I'm gonna last the list widget underneath it. But this is not enough. We need to set the layout to the uh, class. So self uh, set layout and we just pass this layout that we created. We can copy that and do that. Now save and refresh here. Now there is uh, a, an error because it says that the global name list widget is not defined. Because at line 49 here, it's trying to look for a list widget that is global, not inside the class. So let's say, no, this is not global. It's inside the class. And the, the error goes away. And the error goes away here. And I don't think we need to return the list widget here anymore because we are creating it here and adding it here we don't need to return it here uh, so let's refresh and there we go the, look at that that's the label at the top uh, takes the whole row and then there's the uh, list that we had underneath that's pretty cool right so now we have again let's go through this so you can understand what's happening here so we create a class that is actually now the whole uh, widget here it's part of this class or the complete widget it's just one class thing there's a like a refresh error there okay so this uh, widget that we created it's called project manager we initialize that then we create some variables in this case the project variable that we've been using uh, we create some widgets, which is the label, which is this guy here. We can actually call this whatever, or even add another label. Let's call this label title. And let's put this, just some text here, like project manager. And then we need to add this. Let's add it first, so it's at the top let's add a label title save and refresh now you can see we have a label here which says project manager and we have another label that has the project that we are loading and we have the list of the files that we've been using 
Now we run this interface to make it all work. But here might be the most complex part is we create a layout. There's different types of layouts, grid layouts, uh, uh, horizontal layouts, and a lot of other stuff. But uh, I, the box layout is what I am using right now. And we create that layout here, and then we add some widgets to the layout to just start filling this. In this case, we're adding three widgets. And then we just set this layout to the class. Let, we're saying to the class, hey, you class widget, just have this stuff into you and show it. And that's what's happening. And that's it for today. Cool. Now we have the manager here. We have the widget. We have the uh, layout set up. And then we can start adding more stuff here. We can even add something more interesting, like let's say self that button equals uh, QT widget, uh, Q push button. And this push button, it's gonna say, click me. And if we add this button here, maybe after the label, or maybe at the very bottom, self button, and we refresh. Now we have a button here, it says click me. Maybe we can make this refresh or select project or show a message or we can do something, a lot of stuff we can do. And we can connect that button just the same way we connected this. So that's what we're gonna do next week uh, or next chapter, however you're seeing this. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. This might be a little bit complex, so maybe see it one, two times if you are confused a little bit. And maybe see uh, some of the uh, help for PySide 2. There are some examples there, how widgets work, how you add stuff to them. Maybe even try a different layout. Maybe you want to try a different layout for this. And for now, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm having a ton of fun doing this for sure. All right, guys, so... Let's keep learning together, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>